Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Star of Wisdom, and welcome to the Pokemon Players Cup 3 Qualifiers. That, that's what it is. <laughs> um, I participated in the previous two Players Cup Qualifiers, did not qualify in either of them. But, you know, maybe this is the one. Okay, make sure I'm locking into Series 7 and not the, the EV team, because that would be bad. Okay, yes, we want Series 7. Yes. So, this is the team that I've been practicing with all month. Uh, on stream and in a couple of videos, and I think I, I think it's decent. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Um, if you saw my previous Players Cup videos, it, it's just going to be a big string of battle after battle after battle, and uh, yeah, hopefully there's some interesting games here, and hopefully I can do kind of well. Okay. We are going into our first match against Cory. They have a Garchomp and a Yuxi. Very interesting. Um, so I know Yuxi can imprison Trick Room. And I have a feeling that's what it's for on this team. Because I think their slowest Pokemon is the Heatran. Um, so yeah, I have a feeling that this is more of a Tailwind team than a Trick Room team. Even though Yuxi does get Trick Room. However, considering that I have a fairly fast team, I wonder if they're going to want to try to set Trick Room against me. Anyway, um, I like Sableye for being able to stop Whimsicott. Um, the other thing they don't have is Terrain. So I could go Regieleki and Coco pretty easily here, except for the Garchomp. The Garchomp is slightly annoying. Um, but Ninetales can deal with that. Do I just lead Sableye and Ninetales? Or do I lead Sable? No, I'm going to lead Sable like Coco. And then bring Regieleki and Ninetales in the back. Because I mostly just want to stop Tailwind, because I feel like that's what a lot of their strategy probably focuses around. And as long as I have Electric Terrain up and I can deal with the Garchomp with my Ninetales, I should be fine. Um just using Regieleki to clear through everything else. Okay, so they do lead Yuxi Whimsicott. Huh. <sighs> so it's tricky, you know? Um, because they could they could totally just set Trick Room here, which would be really awkward. God, I don't know what... <sighs> I mean, do they want Trick Room against my team? Maybe. I'm more afraid of Trick Room than Tailwind, honestly. Um, so I'm going to do a weird play here. I'm going to fake out the Yuxi, and I'm going to airstream the Whimsicott. I wonder if they are going for both. I wonder if they're clicking Tailwind and Trick Room. That would be weird. That wouldn't make any sense. But this way, they definitely don't get Trick Room because I fake out. And if they do set Tailwind, I raise my speed by one stage. Because then I can just go one more max airstream, and then I'm plus two speed on Coco, at least. Um, but very interesting. Very interesting for them to lead Whimsicott and Yuxi. I kind of just expected them to not bring Yuxi. Or, if they brought Yuxi, I thought they were just going to skip on Whimsicott. Okay. Ooh, Whimsicott just goes for Taunt. You can't prankster Taunt a dark type, though. <laughs> It is Sash. So they can set Tailwind next turn if they want. Um. Hmm. I think Yuxi was trying to set Trick Room there. I'm pretty pretty convinced that that was Trick Room from Yuxi. Um. Do I think I can kill Yuxi with a Max Lightning? Probably. I probably want to double into it. I think I think Max Lightning and Nightshade should deal with Yuxi. Okay, Whimsicott does set Tailwind now. That's kind of fine. Because now I think that they're not going to want to set Trick Room, right? That's not enough. <laughs> well, I sure hope they don't set Trick Room. Okay, they just go for screen. Fair enough. Um... I mean, okay, so this is fine, because they're both still on the field right now, and they don't really do much. So, now I get to just Nightshade and Airstream again. Let's see, if they do a switch... 
Because I can go for one more airstream, and then Coco is still going to be outspeeding everything that comes in. Um, so yeah, let's... Hmm. I don't think it really matters. I'm going to Nightshade Whimsicott and Airstream Yuxi. Ooh, they are going to hit me with... They're going to kill Sableye. Okay. <laughs> Dang, with a crit. Yeah, I think they needed the crit to kill there. That was a little bit surprising, because I figured they were just going to trigger my eject button. But, yeah, okay, fair. Um... Hmm, actually, having something fast under Tailwind in next to Whimsicott is definitely concerning. Um, I'm just going to bring Ninetales, because at least the hail will kill... Um, oh, it's Heatran. That makes me think that they don't have Garchomp. Because, yeah, I definitely don't want Ninetales in right now against... Hmm. At least the hail will kill Whimsicott. But, yeah, this de this is definitely awkward. <laughs> um, I think I just need to stall out some turns of Tailwind. Um, how many turns of Tailwind do they have? They have two more. So I think I'm going to just hit Aurora Veil and Protect. I'm pretty sure Heatran Dynamax is here. They probably go for, like, Helping Hand Max Quake. Yeah. So, not ideal. The thing is... If I can just stall out two turns of Trick Room, then I can kill Heatran with... Or not Trick Room, two turns of Tailwind. Then I can outspeed Heatran with um, Regieleki. Although my Electric Terrain probably doesn't stick around that long, huh? I may have made some mistakes here. The The Moon Blast from Whimsicott was definitely annoying. Oh, right, I guess that's pretty obvious, huh? That's okay, I'm, I'm still okay. Oh, and they go for... No, they do go for Coco. Okay. I'm okay with that. So, Whimsicott will faint to Hail. And then they won't be able to reset Trick Room. Yeah, I can't use Aurora Veil because... Fooey. I should have just Ice Sharded the Whimsicott. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm still okay that I tried to go for Aurora Veil, but it was pretty obvious that Whimsicott was just going to taunt me there. And who knows, maybe that prevented it from using Helping Hand. I'll, no, they, they were going to click that one. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Okay, here's Garchomp. Um, I'm pretty okay with this, because since they didn't hit my Ninetales, I still have my Sash, which means now I can click Blizzard. Coco probably just dies here, unfortunately. I don't know, I am plus two speed. I'm going to do as much damage to the Heatran as I can. But assuming that they don't, as long as they don't double into Ninetales, I can kill Garchomp with Blizzard. I think. <laughs> I hope. Okay, I am fast. Good. Goodbye, air balloon, because that's going to be relevant. <laughs> okay, that hurts a lot. They did a lot of damage to their Heatran, but Heatran's going to be faster than Ninetales because of... Shoot. Yeah, that's game. Because I cannot hit the Garchomp. Well... Unless Garchomp goes for another Earthquake, and then somehow doesn't kill Regieleki, and I can beat the Garchomp with Hyper Beam. Hmm. Gosh, what could I have done differently there? Because the thing was, if I didn't stop, if I had stopped Tailwind turn one, then we would have been in Trick Room, and I, I honestly think that would have been worse. Anyway, I have to lock into Hyper Beam, unfortunately. It's the only way I can hit the Garchomp. Oh well. We tried. It's not too bad. It's better to lose early than later, I think, because we have plenty of games to come back. But I'm slightly annoyed because that I felt like oh, I missed Hyper Beam. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I, I feel like this was a very winnable game. You know? Also, the fact that they didn't go for Earthquake there. <sighs> if I had just gone for Thunderbolt, I think I could have killed the Heatran, and then maybe Hyper... I don't know. I don't think Hyper Beam was ever going to kill Garchomp. I don't know. I feel like that was a very winnable game, and I messed it up somehow, but I don't really know where. But, oh well, that's fine. Alright. Game 2, here we go. Let's see what we've 
got Archeops. Wow. Also, Tyranitar Excadrill instead of like Tyranitar Dracofish, which is interesting. Um, and they have a Moongus. I mean, my Arctivish. Honestly, Arctivish looks fantastic here. Uh, like, the one thing that Arctivish doesn't really do much against is Weavile. And even against Weavile, I think I can deal with it with Ficious Rend. Um, I'm going to lead Arctivish Coco. Because the most annoying thing here would be Spore onto Arctivish. But if I have Electric Terrain, they can't Spore me. So I'd probably switch Coco for Ninetales to set Weather. And then I guess I just bring Regieleki, right? Because if I have Coco, I'm going to set Electric Terrain. Very interesting team here, though. Um, Archeops. <laughs> Archeops is so risky. Like, it's such a good Pokemon. It's got great stats. But Defeatist makes it difficult. Because if you get below half health, then it's, like, incredibly nerfed. Like, if I had seen Weezing on this team, that would have made sense. Because Archeops is definitely a Pokemon that you don't want to have its ability active with. But... I don't know. It's it's an interesting team for sure. Um, but I think Arctivish is the right play here. Uh, Arctivish can basically hit everything super effectively except the Weavile. Um, I, I wonder, did they not lock in their team in time? Because that was at the very last second. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what they do. I'm, I'm kind of expecting to just see Tyranitar Excadrill. Or maybe like Dragapult Amoongus? Maybe an Amoongus? Okay, it is Dragapult Amoongus. So, we have Electric Terrain, so I can't get Spored. Um, should I just Dynamax Arctivish here? Because I think, I think we're going to see Rage Powder, right? I mean, because my other option for Dynamaxing is Coco, but I'm about to switch Coco out right now. And I want to hit Icicle Crash here, but if I Dynamax, then I don't miss. I'm just going to max Arctivish. I'm just going for it. Go for the Dragapult. If it gets Rage Powdered into Amoongus, not a problem. Because we're switching out for Ninetales, and that way we get to be very fast. Unless they also switch and bring in Tyranitar and, like, have sand and re-overwrite my hail, then sure, good play. <laughs> yeah, no switches. Okay. Yeah, I'm sort of expecting this to just be screens and rage powder. Like, I think I think they're just going to want to set screens with their Dragapult. I don't know, maybe, maybe they would just go for an attack on Arctivish thinking they were going to outspeed, because Ninetales wasn't on the field. So, we'll see. At least they can't spore. Like, that's the main thing. Oh, no Rage Powder. All right, well, that should be a dead Dragapult. Cool. I wonder if they went for Spore anyway. Not knowing how Electric Train works. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that, that's unfortunate for them. But, yep, that was why I led Coco. It makes the Spore play not an option. Um, yeah, I'm in a really good position here. Obviously, I can't go for, like, Ma I or I don't want to go for Max Geyser. Because then I overwrite my Hail. But also, they don't have much Rage Powder support right now, because I can just Blizzard. Although, Arctivish is going to hit first anyway, so. Okay, what do they bring in? It is the Excadrill. So, this makes me think that they're going to switch out Amoongus for Tyranitar. That's probably what happens here, right? Um, which means my play here is to protect and switch Ninetales for Coco. Because then next turn, I can switch Ninetales back in, re-overwrite the weather... Right? This is switching Amoongus for Tyranitar, right? And then probably going for Max Rockfall. They didn't switch! Ooh. Well, that's mildly concerning. <laughs> um, 
I mean, as long as they still max Rockfall into Markdivish, we're fine. But if they were going for max Rockfall onto Ninetales, then I'm in trouble. Because maybe... Oh, they might have been, like, Rage... Okay. Okay, they, they do max Rockfall into Arctivish. That makes me think that they didn't bring Tyranitar. They're still going for Spore. Which, you know, is a decision. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I've got Coco back in. This is my last turn of Dynamax. I think... The thing is, Geyser is not very effective against Amoongus. So I'm just going to go for another blizzard but they're gonna rock fall hmm should i just kill the amoongus i mean amoongus isn't really doing anything what are the chances i mean are they really gonna they're not gonna click spore again they're definitely clicking rage powder this time so yeah i'm okay to just max hailstorm and probably just protect coco um not that coco is really gonna be doing much else this game i i need to get rid of this excadrill Still no switch. Yeah, the fact that Tyranitar did not come in there was weird to me. Because I, I could have totally... And they still don't Rage Powder. Please don't tell me you're clicking Spore again. Okay, we do half damage. If we had Geysered, we could have killed it. But they do Quake. They just go for the Coco. No, they Quake Arctivish. Which means we still get Weather and our Dynamax ends. Which means we're going to get Ficious Red next turn. They keep clicking Spore. I feel so bad for them. Like, I think they're forgetting about the electric terrain, but also they keep doing it into my Protect. So, unless it's like, I don't know, Scarf Amoongus or something, but then you just switch it out. Okay, well, we definitely Ficious Rend here and just Brave Bird the Amoongus. Watch, this is going to be the turn where they finally click Rage Powder. I've been playing around Rage Powder this whole game, and they just keep clicking Spore. Because <laughs> if I had clicked Geyser last turn, that would have been a dead, a dead Excadrill. And why, why has the Tyranitar not come in yet? You know, like you, you brought Excadrill. That, that means the, your last Pokemon has to be Tyranitar, right? No switches. All right. We get Excadrill. Please, friend, do not click Spore again. Please, just... It, there's electric terrain. It's not going to work. Okay, not Koba Berry. Okay, we just kill it. We, we, we never have to know if they clicked Spore again. <laughs> uh, okay, so if Tyranitar comes in here, we're pretty much done, right? Because Archivish can just click Ficious Rend and I can switch Coco for Ninetales to reset Hail. Probably. Weavile. It's Weavile. Okay, so they didn't have Sand. They didn't bring the Tyranitar. I mean, Weavile is the one thing. I mean, but I hit it neutrally. Yeah, that's the thing, is I hit it neutrally with Ficious Rend, so it probably still just goes down, because... Vicious Red is ridiculous. Okay, what what is Weavile gonna do? I mean, Weavile gets priority stuff, but we don't see any priority stuff happen here. And it's Sash, okay. But I think Coco should outspeed. <laughs> they got my life orb. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, well, that was that was a game. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think mostly they, they probably didn't know how electric terrain works, so I feel a little bit bad about that, but, I mean, that was why I brought Coco, was so that they couldn't click Spore. Alright, here we go. This person's got a few wins under their belt. Yep, yeah, this is, this is more the, uh, traditional team that I was expecting. <laughs> um, it's interesting that they have Spectrier, though. Spectrier and Glastrier. Um, because usually you'd see Deathlops on a team like this. Because, yeah, actually, they don't have a way of... Spectre doesn't... No, Spectre doesn't get Trick Room. So... Okay, interesting. 
Um, I definitely want to lead Coco to deter Sleep Powder from Venusaur. Although it seems like that's not really what they do anymore. Do I lead Articuno to counter the Landorus? I think I do. I think we go Articuno, Coco, Ninetales in the back. Ugh, do I really want to bring Regieleki or should I bring Arctivish? Because let's see, if they just lead Spectrier. Ugh. I think I need Regieleki to deal with Glastrier, though. They, they have a lot of scary Pokemon on this team. Um, and a lot of scary different directions they could go in. But... We'll see how it goes. I mean, they're not going to lead Landorus, right? I, I probably shouldn't have brought Articuno. Because they weren't going to lead Landorus. Torkoal and Didi. That's a follow me eruption if I've ever seen one. Hmm. Well, that's no good. Uh <laughs> Gee, what do I what do I do about this? Um I feel like I kind of just have to accept it. I mean, I could switch out for Ninetales, but then Ninetales goes down to Sash for sure. Ugh. Oh, I don't like this at all. I really don't like this. Um, we probably just accept that... Like, the one thing I could do is Max Guard Articuno and Protect Coco, but that just, like... Then I'm in the exact same position next turn. So... I need to do damage to the Indeedee. I mean, I guess I could have doubled into Torkoal, because then if they don't follow me, then I at least kill the Torkoal. Yeah, I probably should have doubled into Torkoal, actually. I mean, they're going to click follow me, so it, so it shouldn't really matter, but on the off chance that, like, maybe they click Helping Hand. Oh god, if it's Helping Hand Eruption, I swear. <laughs> If they do Helping Hand Eruption, then my only hope is that I was able to... Okay, it is Follow Me. <laughs> my only hope is that Air Slash flinched the Torkoal. But yeah, no, it's it's definitely just Follow Me and Eruption. So, fair. Okay, I hope Air Slash does enough to pick this up, because otherwise they get to do it again next turn, and that's really bad. Alright, Air Slash. Come on. Oh god, it lives. That's terrible. I mean, okay, we do take an eruption, so that's pretty important. Um We're gonna hit it we're gonna take another eruption. Why did eruption not do that much damage? I definitely expected eruption to be stronger than that. In sun? It's at full health? I mean, I guess I Dynamax and, I mean, Articuno is fairly specially bulky, a little bit. I don't know. That that er I thought that eruption was just gonna Oko both my Pokemon, honestly. Like that's what I was expecting there. Freeze, 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 freeze. <laughs> Actually, I think eruption probably thaws freeze, doesn't it? So, but at least that reduces the damage from eruption quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, we take even less this time. So, this is probably Venusaur coming in now, right? I would expect. Unless they didn't bring Venusaur? Because they're, they're thinking? Why are they thinking? If it's Venusaur... <sighs> Do I switch out Olanderous? That may have been a mistake, friend. Because <laughs> I, I definitely... I mean, yeah, you, you nerf my Coco a little bit, but now I'm plus two Articuno. Did they not bring... Did they just not bring their... 
they must have just not brought Venusaur. Because, I mean, yeah, I'm just going to click Freezing Glare, and I'm going to Lightning Matorkal. Um, plus two Freezing Glare, I don't think will kill Landorus, but it'll bring it down low. I guess it could be Scarf Landorus, huh? It could be that. But I have Ninetales in the back, you know? Oh, the Dynamax. I mean, yeah. But now I definitely should outspeed with Articuno, because I'm already plus one speed. I Airstreamed last turn. And again, I have I have Ninetales, and Ninetales always outspeeds Landorus when it's Dynamaxed. Unless they Airstream this turn. If they Airstream this turn instead of, like, Rockfall or something, that's annoying. Torkoal protects. Eh. Well, we get a plus two Freezing Glare on Landorus. And, I mean, we still max, we still max Lightning through Protect, but I, maybe I should have gone for an Airstream. That might have been the smarter move there. Honestly, I think they're just going to Quake my Coco, though. Which I'm kind of okay with. Coco has basically done what it needed to do. And yeah, that dies to another Freezing Glare. Ugh, they do go for your stream. They do kill the Articuno. Okay. Annoying. I wish I had Airstreamed this turn so that Coco was at least faster. But... I do get to bring in my Ninetales now. Landorus is... I mean, it pretty much dies here. What they have to do is they have to protect Landorus this turn and hit my Ninetales with Torkoal because I have a Focus Sash. They might not know that, though. I don't know. The thing is, I'm pretty much guaranteed to get a Blizzard unless they protect Landorus and also do damage to my Ninetales. So I think I need to try to kill... The... Torkoal will not die, because I might just want to attack on Coco is the thing. I kind of forgot about that, that Coco got intimidated. Um, I'm still okay to wild charge the Torkoal slot. Because I think that's my strongest option. Like, I don't want to bring Regieleki in here. That would be not smart. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, I think they have to protect Landorus and, like, go for Heat Wave with Torkoal just to get some damage on Ninetales to break my Sash. They switch. They want Weather back. They do have Venusaur. See, that surprises me. Um, although it does put me in a really awkward position if they, uh... I don't know, Blizzard should do a lot to Venusaur is the thing. Oh god, they- oh, that's smart. Okay, well. Okay, I need to double connect Blizzard here. <laughs> right, they outspeed, they can overwrite the weather. Alright, smart. Um, okay, I need this to double connect. Come on, Blizzard, don't miss. Yes! Okay. That's major. <laughs> that was really bad. Um... I need the Venusaur to die to the sand? That was very lucky for me, um, because, yeah, Ninetales is dead here, and if this Venusaur doesn't die, it's going to be very fast, because they're about to get Sun back. <laughs> okay, phew, close one. Crisis probably averted. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, that, that, right, of course, that makes a lot of sense. Definitely Blizzard, yep, okay. Ooh, that was that was concerning. Yeah, I should have maybe airstreamed that previous. Well, no, airstream wouldn't have been that useful. I don't know. Uh, I'm on my last turn of electric train, right? Yeah, but this should die to one rising voltage, unless they protect, and then I'm locked into rising voltage, which would be annoying. But it's still Regieleki, so even without electric terrain, okay, yeah, that's game. That was scary. Um, that was really lucky that I double connected Blizzard in the sand because, yeah, that was that was obviously the play. Is if you're gonna move before the Nine Tails because of the speed boost, you can rock fall, and then if I clicked Blizzard, there's a much higher chance of it missing. So, yep, yeah, that was a really smart play from them, but fortunately, it worked out for me. All right, three games in, we're finally positive. That's nice. Um, the the wins that I've had so, I mean. Yeah, that, that last one was very much due to luck. 
Um, so I'm still slightly concerned. Things can definitely still go wrong. Blaziken! They've got a Blaziken. Um. Hmm. They pretty much have a guaranteed Tailwind, don't they? With Follow Me. Is it even worth trying to fake out then? Probably not. Well, yeah, I mean, duh, you can't fake out because Psychic Terrain. I'm gonna just go Arctivish Ninetales. Because then I can, like, Blizzard and Ficious Rend. Like, yes, they're gonna get Tailwind. That's gonna happen. Uh, and then I bring Coco and Regieleki in the back. But, I mean, yeah, th there's no way for me to stop Tailwind here, because they have Ndidi Whimsicott. Like, they are hard Tailwind. Um, which is concerning. But, I think I can pick up a KO turn one, and... I, I mean, I don't know, they're probably planning that, you know, Ndidi goes down so they can have Tailwind. That is not what I was expecting. <laughs> um, I mean, that's cool. I get a free Ficious Rend on Blaziken. But wow, yeah, uh, not what I was expecting. Okay, but I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Um, I mean, Blaziken's dead to to Ficious Ren, so I'm... Actually, oh, it probably protects turn one, doesn't it, for speed boot? No! No protect. Alright, well, that's dead Blaziken. We're gonna get a Blizzard on Ferrothorn. Which, I mean, is not the best move ever, but it's a start. It is single-target Blizzard. That does solid damage. That's fine. Um... Because I'm pretty much planning to kill Ferrothorn with my Coco. I'm surprised they didn't protect Blaziken that turn. That was probably the, the right play. But even at plus one speed, I don't know if you outspeed Arctivision Hail. But maybe you do. That's what I would have tried if I had the if I had a speed boost Blaziken, I'd pretty much always protect turn one. To get the speed boost. Um Maybe they didn't know about Slush Rush. That could be. Okay, there's the Indeedy. I'm totally fine with that, um, because it's not next to Tailwind. It didn't even occur to me that they could have they could have gone follow me Trick Room. I, I'm just gonna click the same moves here. Cause yeah, they they could have done Trick Room on Whimsicott. They could have had Trick Room that way too. Ah, well that's smart. I guess that's why when you're paired against a Pokemon that usually uses Follow Me, you should do... I don't know. I, I wanted to hit it with a... I wanted to hit Indeedee with Ficious Rent, not Ferrothorn. But... Yeah, this Ferrothorn is taking damage. Gyro Ball into Ninetales, probably? Yeah. That was not the right choice. I mean, yeah, it does damage to me. That, that definitely works. But, because of my Sash, I'm still around. And now I definitely get to... Honestly, I think this Ferrothorn is going to go down to another round of Hail and Blizzard. I don't know, maybe not after Leech Seed Recovery, but... Yeah, I, I'm pretty happy to just sit here and keep clicking what I'm clicking. Because Coco and Regieleki in the back are fantastic finishers. If I can get rid of the Indeedy... And, and honestly, I think I can get rid of Indeedy and Ferrothorn with both my Pokemon. I suppose they had a... Did they have a Glastrier? No, that was a, that was the other team. This team doesn't have a Glastrier. Um, because yeah, this was a Tailwind team. But yeah, that should be dead, Indeedy. It actually hangs on, but it'll it'll die to Blizzard. So, I'm I'm impressed that that Indeedy took took that as well as it did. Okay, Ferrothorn doesn't go down yet, but it will. The body press to kill the. Arctivish. That's fine. Take a little bit more Hail Chip. They got rid of their Leech Seed Recovery. I'll bring in Coco, overwrite the terrain. I'll probably just Dynamax Coco here. But 
Yeah, their Ferrothorn is so low. It dies to another Blizzard. And then, depending on what their last Pokemon is, I feel like I can probably deal with it right before it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I am so sorry, friend. <laughs> but yeah, Arctivish Ninetales was definitely the play here. I was shocked that they led Blaziken Ferrothorn. That's a... That is a... That is a play. That's a move. I should be... I, I don't know why I never use PP Max on moves like Blizzard. Like, I've only got five Blizzards, and I'm in an official competition right now. I should I should probably make that change for the next one that I play in. I mean, you can't change it mid-competition, but I'm saying for the next. I should update my team so that I have more than five uses of Blizzard. Although, I've never actually run out of Blizzards before. I mean, they still have their Dynamax. They can still Dynamax Moltres. It can take a Max Lightning, and then I can give them Weakness Policy and Berserk. But... I mean, I guess then they could also go for Max Airstream. I mean, maybe there's a way that Moltres kills everything while also managing to outspeed Regieleki when it comes in. Maybe I should have just Airstreamed. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this just works. I'm pretty sure that this is... I mean, because even if they protect Moltres here, the Blizzard kills the Ferrothorn. Yeah, I don't know. There's probably technically a way out for them, but it's gonna be hard. Yeah, they don't even take a Max Lightning. <laughs> Sorry, friend. And that should finish off the Ferrothorn. Gosh, it's so nice when Ferrothorn just dies. <laughs> like, Ferrothorn is so good at sticking on the field. All right, well, that was a good game. That went well. All right, game five. Here's Trick Room with Porygon 2. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Prison Trick Room doesn't really work. Because of Glass Rear and stuff out speeds Articuno, which I don't like. Huh. I kind of want to bring Coco. Because they probably don't lead Landorus, right? Like, bringing Articuno to get a competitive boost off of a Landorus lead is unlikely. Um, alternatively, I could go Arctivish Ninetales. <laughs> Worked last time, but I don't think it's as good against this team. Um, I think I want Sableye. I'm going to try Coco. And I want Ninetales and Regieleki. I don't know. It feels risky to not be bringing Articuno against, against their Trick Room. And against the Landorus. I don't know. I don't know. That This is maybe not right. I was concerned about the Landorus Feramosa lead. I don't know why. <laughs> but that's what I was concerned about. <laughs> uh, okay. It's probably just... P2, yeah, P2 Feeny. So, you know... That actually works out pretty well for me. Um, I probably don't want to max Lightning Mafini because it could just switch out to Landorus. Like, switching Feeny for Landorus in front of Coco is pretty obvious, so I'll probably just Airstream. Um, or I guess I could Steel Spike, or Steel Spike neutral. I think Steel Spike might be neutral against Feeny. Or do I not want to Dynamax Coco? Is Dynamax and Coco a bad idea here? I mean, no, I'm definitely Dynamaxing Coco. Because uh, I'm just going to fake out P2. Yeah, I mean, Steel Spike is neutral, so I might as well Airstream. Or we attack the P2. The thing is, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm just going to trick the, P the P2 next turn. 
So I'm okay just getting damage on Feeny. Unless Feeny protects. Protecting Feeny here is not insane. And since I can't guarantee... Yeah, I'm going to airstream the P2 is what I'm going to do. Just start getting damage on it. No switches. Okay. Because if I could have just... If I if I had like a, if they didn't have a ground type in the back, I would 100% just max lightning the Feeny and just be like, yep, that's good. But I'm actually thinking they're probably just gonna protect Trick Room, or that's what they're gonna try to do. But I can fake out an airstream, which is a decent turn one play here, I think. No protect. Oh, P2 was not going for Trick Room. Okay. Good to know. Huh. They were just going for an attack. What attack would they want? Ooh. Okay, smart. <laughs> Kinda wish I had attacked the Feeny now. Um. Yeah, because now P2 can pretty reliably just hit. They can pretty much just hit uh, Trick Room. Well, that's not ideal. Um, I think I have to try to Lightning P2. It's so risky to go for Max Lightning when they have Landorus in the back. But yeah, it's not like it's not like Sableye's doing anything here. Okay, I think. The fact that Sableye switched out first makes me think they're not doing any switches. So, hopefully... You know? Feeny protects this turn. Okay. That makes me think that they're, they've got to be going for Trick Room, right? That's not enough. Well, that's not ideal. You know, it's not good. <laughs> I'll call it like it is. It's not good. <laughs> um, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. That is, that is how that works. Um, what are the chances that they just want to taunt Ninetales? So that I don't Aurora Veil. Because I was thinking just switching Ninetales back for Sableye, but I have a feeling they're just going to taunt. So, what are the chances that they bring in Landorus? I don't know. Not high against a... Hmm. I feel like it's Landorus and Glastrier in the back, right? Which are both Pokemon that I don't want to deal with. Um, Do I just Dazzling and... I mean, because P2 is going to recover. I am going to Blizzard, and I'm going to Max Lightning the Feeny. Because that way, if they switch Feeny for Landorus, they don't. They just recover. Okay. I mean, this is good, because I, I should kill Feeny here, right? Feeny should go down. Yeah, we take that. Blizzard won't do a ridiculous amount by any means, but... Lightning should finish it thing is, they still have their Dynamax, and now they get to bring something in. Which is not good. Yeah, the Taunt. I was not expecting Taunt. Let's see, I still have my Eject button, though. So... There might still be a play here against the Glastrier. Because, yeah, that is what comes in, obviously. Hmm... How do I want to do this? Something goes down here. I'm going to try for an Aurora Veil, and I'm probably just going to protect. But yeah, they're going to Dynamax Glastrier. It's going to be very annoying. Because, yeah, I think what I need to do now is let one of my Pokemon go down, bring Sableye in, trick the Eject Button onto Glastrier, but then I don't have an ideal... I don't really have a good way of activating it is the problem, you know?
you know. Unless they kill Coco. Maybe they shouldn't have protected Coco. Uh, I don't know, I feel like stalling out a turn. Yeah, they go for Ninetales. Which is kind of what I expected. Because if I could, if they had brought down Coco, then I could have gone for Trick and Ice Shard. But... You know, this makes me think that they have Landorus in the back. Because, right, Ninetales was my only answer for Landorus. Yeah, I think I think they've probably got this. And they're just recovering again. I hate P2. <laughs> I should have just gone for a Trick Play turn 1. Gotten rid of the Eviolite instead of faking out. But I was expecting... The thing is, they did on turn 2 what I expected on turn 1. So, that was part of the problem there. Now, um, they might ally switch, which is going to be annoying, but I have to I have to just try. My philosophy is don't predict ally switch until you know they have it. Well, now we know they have it. Guys, I found it. They have ally switch. <laughs> have an eject button, V2 is very fun. <laughs> Uh... Yeah, that's game. That is very much game. Hmm. I mean, again, not like I was going to be triggering that eject button anyway, because obviously, yeah. 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 Well, it is what it is. These are the teams that it's hardest for my team to deal with. Um, there, there's always a way. If I could have denied Trick Room... I probably should have brought Articuno, is what it comes down to. Um, well, I guess let's try to burn. It's probably going to ally switch again, but... I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're outspeeding me. They can, they can kill me with everything, so... Pretty much just plan it out because we can. They didn't ally switch. There's the burn, okay. But they're, I mean, they're plus two attack. And yeah, that's dead Regieleki. Okay, good game. Yeah, I probably should have brought Articuno because then I could have, I could have imprisoned turn one. And what would I have led? I probably would have led Sableye Articuno though. Which, I don't know if that really would have worked. I don't know. I don't know. There was, there was probably something different that I could have done that was better. Yay, Trick Room's done. <laughs> Guys, I did it. <laughs> I stalled out Trick Room. <laughs> Go, Sableye! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they had Landorus in the back too, right? Rawr. Take 50 damage. Yeah, Glastrier. You <laughs> you're going down. <laughs> Alright, well... That's, that's that game. <laughs> GG. Well played. Okay. Game six. That's a highly rated player. Okay, it's not Trick Room. <laughs> that was, like, the one thing I was looking for. Um, they could be, like, Prankster Rain Dance next to Kingdra. Which is pretty fancy. Uh, this, this is definitely a scary team. Like, there's definitely stuff here that I am not excited about. Um, but I think bringing my Sableye is going to be important because of their Regieleki specifically. And... Hmm. I want Ninetales to reverse rain. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. 
I also want Arctic. Gosh, this is oh, this is hard. <laughs> they have a lot of Pokemon that I need to counter, and I don't have enough counters. Um, I kind of just want to bring. I want Arctivish for the Rotom Heat. And if I'm bringing Ninetales anyway, I'm not leading Ninetales is the thing. I think I bring Sableye, Coco, Ninetales, Arctivish. Which I'm not excited about, but I need Coco to overwrite Grassy Terrain. I kind of need Arctivish to deal with the Rotom Heat, because I don't have anything else that hits Rotom Heat very well. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is it is what it is. <laughs> Save like Hatra. Yep. Okay, so they're going to get rain up. It's going to be annoying. That's for sure. So, knowing that that's what's going to happen here. I mean, what's Kingdra really going to do to Coco? You know? I kind of just want to trick an eject button onto the Kingdra. Because, like, that's their main thing that benefits from rain, right? Yeah, I'm just going to go trick and max lightning here. Because I have nine tails and Arctivish in the back. I guess Dynamaxing Arctivish isn't always the worst plan, but... I don't think Kingdra can kill Coco. So even though it's going to be outspeeding... I mean, because the best thing it has is Max Geyser, right? Unless this Sableye does something that I am not expecting, <laughs> which is very likely. Um, I'm also slightly concerned about the Metagross, because usually my answer for Metagross is Regieleki, but I obviously didn't have enough Pokemon to bring Regieleki this time. Oh! Okay, well, they don't Dynamax Kingdra. Um, <laughs> Kingdra's dead, so it's not rain. I maybe should have been more worried about Quash from Sableye than rain, because they really only have one Pokemon that benefits from rain. And yeah, now my eject button's gone. Okay, here's the Rotom. That's mostly okay with me, because again, Rotom's not doing too much to my uh, Coco. I'm going to give Coco the Life Orb, and I'm going to Lightning the Sableye. Because I, I have a Rotom answer. My, my Rotom answer is Arctivish. So I'm okay. I'm kind of okay ignoring it for now. It's it's going to be annoying if it Nasty Plots and then Dynamaxes, but again, Rotom doesn't do that much to Coco right here. Um, so yeah, I'll just give myself the Life Orb. They're just going to Dynamax right away without setting up any Nasty Plots. Um, I guess Overheat is slightly, or Max Flare is slightly annoying because they have a way of resetting weather for themselves. But it's it's kind of okay. I'm not that worried. <laughs> okay, they do Quash. Fair enough. Um, yeah, getting rid of the Sableye is going to be really important. Okay, Tapu Koko's got the Life Orb. They Max Flare. Uh, okay, save light lives. I might have been okay with Sableye going down there, but I guess it, I guess it's always fine for Sableye to stick around next turn. Okay, Life Orb Max Lightning into their Sableye. Yes. Oh, it lives. Why? Now they get to quash again. <laughs> That's annoying. Um. That's very annoying. Well, yeah, and I don't have anything nice for hitting Rotom. I kind of just want to double into Sableye and just finish it. I guess raising speed isn't terrible. Um, they do have Sun Up, so it's a Sun Boosted Max Flare that's probably going into Coco. I don't know. Ah, Shadow Sneak. I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, this Sableye. I, I do like my Sableye. Okay, so they don't have Quash anymore. 
That's good. I've taken down two of their Pokemon, right? Um, what else do they have? They might have Rillaboom. I guess Rillaboom, Rillaboom would actually be a big problem here. Okay, I'm still alive, that's good. Um, okay, the fact that I'm still alive makes it less bad, because if it is Rillaboom, it's Regieleki. Ooh. That's interesting. That's certainly interesting. Um, I've got, like, no health on either of these Pokemon, but I'm plus one speed on Coco, which makes me think maybe I outspeed Regieleki. Ah, their Regieleki has Electric Train, though. Definitely scary. Um, Sableye, I'm just gonna take Rotom's item. It's probably a berry, and that way they just don't have a berry. And I'm gonna try to Wild Charge into Regieleki, just hopefully it works. Alright, Sableye gets a Citrus Berry. I get to eat it right away. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Sableye gets to hang around for another hit. <laughs> okay, sweet. And I do outspeed the Reggie Lucky because my speed boost. That's decent damage. I go down. Okay, Sableye's definitely going down. So it's going to be Ninetales and Arctivish versus Reggie Lucky and Rotom, which is scary. Definitely scary. Um... Haha, -ha, I've wasted your third turn of Dynamax. <laughs> like, uh, the thing is, I, I feel like they're going to protect Rotom here and go for an Electroweb. So I actually want to just kill the Regieleki. Um, but having two Electric types against my Arctivish is... I don't like it. I do not like it at all. Um, okay, I'm calling Protect on Rotom. So I'm going to Blizzard, and I'm going to Ficious Rend Regieleki. Because I'm pretty sure Rotom just protects you. I mean, I just want to get rid of Regieleki. That's the thing that's going to be... Oh, God, and I, I guess Regieleki could technically still outspeed me too, huh? If it's... Because, like, I don't know. I can't remember how fast plus one uh, Coco is, but I think it's faster than Arctivish and Hail. Oh, God, it is faster. Oh, that's so bad. No. No. <laughs> Regieleki, why? <laughs> All right, well, now I need to get a freeze on Rotom. Which I, I don't think will happen. Yeah, no, okay. Shoot! Oh, that's so annoying that the Regieleki was faster. Dang. Well, good game. Well played. That's, that's how it goes. Okay, game seven. Ooh, they are much higher than I am. Um, okay, pretty standard stuff. Um. Hmm. Besides the opposing Regieleki, not too much that I'm too worried about. Um. God, how do I? I just, I just never have anything that can reliably actually stop the Regieleki. Um. <laughs> It's annoying. I, I wish I just had one thing. I mean, like, Articuno is basically my option, but Articuno isn't great against a lot of other stuff here. But I'm going to try it, I guess. Um, yeah. It's like Fake Out Max Mindstorm. That's, like, pretty much my play. Although, you know, I'm slightly concerned about Spore, which is why I wanted to bring Coco. You know, may maybe this works. And then I bring Regieleki and I guess just nine tails, because I'm probably maxing Coco, right? Like I definitely need something to hit Mamoswine, which is why I kind of wanted to bring Arctivish, but 
I don't know. I feel like Reg. Maybe I was supposed to not bring my Regieleki. Maybe that would have been a better play. I don't know. It's a hard call. <sighs> Dealing with their Regieleki is not going to be fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I really wish I had brought <laughs> my <laughs> my um. Articuno. Well, um, I'm thinking maybe I just don't Dynamax. No, but I, I want to Dynamax Coco, but it's uh, it's already minus one attack. This is annoying. Dealing with their Regieleki is going to be very annoying. Um, like, I can fake it out here, but I feel like... Maybe I just fake out Protect? No. I want to switch Coco, but I don't want to switch into any of these Pokemon. <sighs> but Dynamax and Coco. Yeah, I should have brought Articuno. Oh, well. Um, I want to get my Regieleki in, but I just don't want to switch it in right now. I'm going to Dynamax. I, I hate this play. <laughs> I hate this. This is terrible, but... I feel like the only way I'm going to deal with Regieleki is if I start boosting my speed a little bit. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm just about to get... <coughs> ah, excuse me. I feel like I'm just about to get parting shotted by the Incineroar. Or, or faked out. I suppose, I suppose they might want to just fake out my Coco. They didn't fake out. <sighs> that does nothing. I should have just airstreamed Incineroar. Probably. Yay! There's the parting shot. Alright, what's it going to be? What's coming in here? Um... Honestly, it's probably just Mamos Wine, right? Moltres. Shoot. Because usually that wouldn't be an issue, but now that I'm minus two attack, it's really not ideal. Um. Is it really even worth tricking an eject button on Regieleki right now? God, I don't even know. I kind of want Sableye's eject button to get activated. I'm just gonna try to nightshade. And... I mean, they're gonna they're gonna hit me with with Electro Web, right? Like, that's the play for them. They switch. Oh, please don't switch into Mammoth Swine. Okay, well <laughs> they're just really dropping my attack, you know. Ugh. Yeah, I 100% needed to have brought... I just didn't think they were going to lead Incineroar into my... into my Articuno. But... Okay, well, they tried to Volt Switch. They're going to trigger my Eject button. And they're not going to get to switch out. So, I do like that. Um, I now have an opportunity to bring in Regieleki. And, because my Coco is fast... My Coco did just outspeed their Regieleki. I can pretty comfortably Rising Voltage and I can I can Airstream to raise my Regieleki speed and then Rising Voltage into theirs and just get rid of it. Because like here's the thing, my Regieleki is still in a pretty good position. Um, I'm expecting a Rising Voltage from this Incineroar. It's gonna be annoying. Ugh, right. Right. They just brought it back in, so. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> not gonna lie, it's not looking very good right now. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, they just set light screen. Okay, I'm probably gonna switch out Coco here. Just because it's so, it has nothing right now. I'm gonna try to get the Regieleki, switch out to Sableye. 
I'm assuming Incineroar is going to parting shot my Regieleki. Yeah, I completely forgot that the Incineroar had just come back in. And yes, of course, it's going to fake out my Regieleki. Duh. Okay. They have Light Screen, but this should still... Yeah, okay. At least their Regieleki is gone. Um, they still have their Dynamax, which is bad. And they're going to parting shot Regieleki, right? Yeah, okay. Well... I have, like, no momentum this game. Um, they have a Moltres, though. And... That's still not great against my team. Um, I'm assuming they probably have the... The Mamoswine in the back? <sighs> Are they just gonna bring Incineroar back in? super annoying if they do. Can I fake out there? My fake out went before theirs, so I could fake out and Volt Switch. Because obviously I want to... I can't Volt Switch. I'm locked into Rising Voltage. Duh. Okay, well, it's Incineroar again. Um... So I minus one on Special Attack. I've got one more turn of Electric Terrain, but that doesn't work against this Moltres. Like, on one hand, I kind of just want to kill the Incineroar. Like, what if I fake out and Rising Voltage into Incineroar? Because Moltres is going to Dynamax. That's going to happen. It's probably going to kill my Regieleki. But I have a Ninetales and a Coco in the back. And if I, can, if I can get rid of the Incineroar so that it stops dropping my stats, that might just be fine, you know? I might be okay with that. They're probably going to max Airstream, which is annoying. What? Why does their fake out go before mine? I thought mine... Oh, they didn't go for a fake out last time. Well. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I hate this Incineroar. I, I hate Incineroar so much. Alright, well, Regilecki goes down for basically no good reason. Um, I could just bring in Coco and, but his wild charge is off right now. I kind of just want to wild charge the Moltres, but I feel like I'm about to get parting shot again. <sighs> Gosh, Articuno would have been so good here. I, I should have brought Articuno. Okay, um, let's see. I mean, I'm not intimidated. They're probably going to try to go for a parting shot. The thing is, if I don't kill it, then it's going to have Weakness Policy and Berserk. And I actually probably don't kill it, to be completely honest. What if I protect? No, because what is Save Life really doing here? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to wild charge. Did I see their last Pokemon yet? No, I haven't. It's got to be Mamoswine, right? Did this Incineroar already eat its berry? Cool. Weakness policy and Berserk. <laughs> As planned. <laughs> I just didn't see a good way around it. I mean, I guess I could have kept stalling and waiting for Dynamax to end, but yeah, the Max Airstream there is annoying. Save log goes down, and I'm probably going to get hit with Parting Shot. <sighs> it's exhausting. Yay. I love it. It's my favorite move. And then it's just going to come back in and intimidate me. At least I get to see what their last Pokemon is now. It's Mamoswine, right? Ugh, the speed boost on this Moltres is annoying. Oh, it's a Moongus. Alright, well... Ninetales is not the worst Pokemon to have in the back here. You know? Um...
I, I'm probably just gonna click Blizzard with Nine Tails. <sighs> minus one attack. If they switch Amoongus out, it's gonna be minus two. Do I just protect Coco? I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it because they're just gonna keep raising their speed higher. I'm gonna go wild charge and blizzard. Just keep trying to hit them. Keep trying to do damage. Okay, yeah, they just rage powder. Okay, fair enough. Airstream again into Coco. Yeah, we don't take it because of everything that they have going for them, you know. <laughs> All right, let's let's see some blizzard crits and freezes. That's not enough damage. That is not enough damage. I still have my sash, but they're gonna double into me. Although you know, Amoongus is slower than me, and Dynamax is done. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to just keep hitting Blizzard right now. That's pretty much my only play. Hmm, yeah, this, this game could have gone a lot differently. <laughs> oh well. I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't respect the Incineroar enough. That's pretty much what it comes down to. And I forgot, they, they had a Regieleki that was super annoying for most of that game, which was my main reason for not bringing Articuno. Did they have a Regieleki? Pretty sure they had a Regieleki. Yeah, protect, that's smart. Fairy Wrath, yep. Yep. Okay. And then they're just gonna come in, fake out, and sludge bomb. I guess, you know, I do know that my I'm pretty sure my um Articuno can take an electric move from a Regieleki. I, I should I should have just brought Articuno, is what it comes down to. Like I just should have done that. Alright, fake out sludge bomb, that's game. Not a great one for me. I tried though. I don't know, I had electric train to block to block spore. Holland puff. Oh. Hang on a minute. They didn't kill me. I could get I could still get lucky here. If I get a freeze. <laughs> Cause I should be faster than Incineroar, right? Like if I if I freeze it, there's still a chance. It's a very, very low chance. Nope, no freeze, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't just sludge bomb there. Maybe they don't have sludge bomb on this. I guess if they're carrying Pollen Puff, then yeah, they probably don't have sludge bomb. And Pollen Puff wasn't going to kill me, so. Alright, good game. Well played. They, they definitely had the advantage there throughout the whole thing. Game 8. Playing against another person who is higher than me. Ooh. Cradley and Aerodactyl. Very interesting. And they, they have a pretty strong sand mode here. I mean, this is all... They, this is very much a sandstorm team. None of them take damage from sand. So, yeah. Um, Arctivish Ninetales is 100% going to be the the answer here. Um, the question is, how do I guarantee that I can keep hail. Um, I mean, the, the two in the back are Coco and Regieleki. I mean, I have to lead one of them. It's between Coco and Regieleki. Regieleki's not going to outspeed Sandrush Pokemon. Right? Or will it? I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So I can't just go for a full switch. 
Um, I think I lead Coco so I can protect if I need to. And then I bring Reggie Lucky and Ninetales in the back. Because, yeah, I might just need to protect turn one if they don't lead with their Tyranitar. Because, yeah, I guess I'd have to double protect, huh? Potentially. Or... Depending on what they have... Aerodactyl and... Okay. Really not the two that I was anticipating. Oh, right, Storm Drain. Storm Drain. Cradley has Storm Drain. I can't... Um, I can't go for Ficious Rent. Right. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, what are the chances that they just switch out Cradley for... Um, okay, okay, uh, thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, I need to kill the Cradley so that I can use Ficious Rend. I think we're just going to protect Arctivish. And I'm probably going to Dynamax Coco? And Steel Spike? Uh, but I can't, no, I don't want to Dynamax Coco, because if I Dynamax Coco here... Then I'm not going to want to switch it for Nine Tails. I'm just going to go for Iron Head then. Okay, no Dynamax from their side, which is good. Iron Head into Cradley. I like that. That's decent damage. Not quite enough. And they just Rock Slide. Okay. Um. Now what's the Cradley going to do? Meteor Beam. Oh, please do it into the Arctivish. Oh, I hope you went into the Arctivish. <laughs> uh, please don't do it into my Coco. Okay, good. So we protect the Meteor Beam. Um, How do I make sure that I kill this Cradily? I almost want a Dynamax Arctivish here. Risky. I could just switch out to Regilecki, but I think I want to conserve Regilecki for now. I'm going to Dynamax my Arctivish. Max Hailstorm the Aerodactyl. And Iron Head the Cradley. I don't know that Iron Head is going to do enough. I hope it will. Please, please, Iron Head, just do enough damage to kill this Cradley. Because it definitely has the potential to just annihilate my Arctivish, and I don't like it. Um, although I am fairly bulky now that I've Dynamaxed. It's just that they're plus one. Well, actually, no. Meteor Beam is a two-turn attack. So, okay. Um, <laughs> they're still alive. <laughs> There's the Rock Slide. Definitely does damage. Flinch, maybe? They're going to faint to hail is the main thing. I'm, I'm hoping that they, that they flinch. Oh, and that's Sash. So that will also faint to hail. Okay, Cradley, please flinch from Iron Head. Please, Iron Head, flinch. Please, 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 please. I just, I just need an Iron Head flinch. Nope. Okay, they sludge bomb Coco. That's fine. I don't need Coco anymore. Um, I don't want to bring Nine Tails in yet because I want to save Nine Tails to be able to reset. But that's two Pokemon down. I'm down one turn of Dynamax. Um, and they have my Coco. But, I'm pretty comfortable bringing in Regieleki here. Um, I mean, it's got to be Tyranitar and a, and a Sand Pokemon, right? Like Tyranitar and Dracovish, or Tyranitar and... Stout. Okay, that's Excadrill, so T-Tar Excadrill. Alright, um, now which one Dynamaxes? Probably Excadrill? I would have to guess. Um... I don't really want to geyser. I kind of want to just hailstorm the Excadrill. And we're going to switch Regieleki for Nine Tails. <sighs> I don't know if this is the right play. 
I need I need to protect my Arctivish so that I can go for Ficious Wrens after my Dynamax is done, but I, I kind of don't think that's going to work. If I can get rid of the Excadrill, though, then Regieleki is a pretty good finisher here. Or, I mean, it's not, it's not the worst finisher. It's not ideal, but... Okay, they do Dynamax, Excadrill. Maybe I should have just gone for Geyser. Just take it out. I don't know. It's hard to say. Because they're going to Rockfall. Oh, they quake. Shoot, that still kills. Well, they still don't have sand. Oh, it was a crit. Okay, well, that's not good. <laughs> not excited about that. Not not what I like to see. This is probably just rock slide from Tyranitar, right? Yeah, they're life orb. Yeah, I should have just gone for Geyser. Okay. Um. I mean, I'm gonna outspeed. I can probably kill the Tyranitar with a Rising Voltage, but then that's all that Reggie Lucky gets to do for the rest of the game. Like literally, all they have to do is one move on Nine Tails, and I'm dead. So. Yep. I could get a freeze. It could happen, maybe. Maybe it's the time. Okay. Dead Tyranitar. This will be single target Blizzard into Excadrill. Just please. Uh, no freeze, okay, well. And that's smart, because yeah, then that just kills me with chip damage. <sighs> Comeback starts in the next game. <laughs> Dang, that was that was very winnable. Yet again, another game that I think was very winnable and that I just did not win. Well, it, it was it was good. They they played well. GG. Okay, game nine. Let's start going the other direction again, please. Um, they have Coco or Gialecki. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, they also have Tailwind, though. So. Yeah, I think Sableye Coco is good here. Um... I'm probably just going to play it like that. I think. I don't really want Arctivish against two electric types. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Um, it's going to be a lot of, like, who can get rid of the other person's Regieleki? <laughs> and I need to stop Tailwind. Stopping Tailwind is important here. Hmm. Okay. So, we see Zapdos Whimsicott. I'm okay with that. I can I can stop that. I can fake out Airstream turn one um, into Whimsicott. And... Yeah, Zapdos doesn't have much that it can do against me right now. Yeah. I don't know what they were going to plan to do with the Zapdos. That's kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, I I'm okay with just going fake out Airstream. If I can just stop Tailwind, kill the Whimsicott, they switch out Zapdos. Regieleki, fair enough. I'm going to raise my speed a stage, though, so that's a start. Um, and then I can try to follow up on Regieleki next turn. I guess I won't have... I won't have fake out against the Regieleki, which is slightly annoying. But I can start with a Max Lightning. I guess I could trick my Eject Button onto it. Okay, I hope this is not Koba Berry Whimsicott. It is Koba Berry. That's annoying. 
Okay, so they get Tailwind. <laughs> Shoot. They get it next turn. Hmm. Very annoying. Um, okay, let's put our eject button on Regieleki. And maybe I just airstream... Ah, but the Regieleki's gonna have speed. I kind of just want to get rid of the Regieleki. Like, just make it go away. I don't like it. Can't taunt a dark type with Prankster. Can't Prankster taunt. And, well, actually, wait, that's also important because they didn't go for Tailwind. I have a Focus Sash now. We're going to hit Regieleki before it gets to move. Solid damage, and we force a switch. Now, now I kind of wish I had gone with my, uh, with my airstream <laughs> into the into the whimsicott because <laughs> then i would have stopped tailwind but okay wait kapu riki that's his name in a different language that's kind of cool okay um i don't know if it's going to be physical coco or not but i'm okay to just airstream and try to burn it Hmm. Yep, there's the tailwind, finally. But my Tapu Coco is going to be plus two speed. Okay, we do burn when the Coco. Chances are it's special Coco, though. Yeah, it's special Coco. Oh well. I wonder what item the Coco is. Airstream Whimsicott. I think they're just going to bring their Regieleki back in, honestly. Hmm. What item would they have on Coco? Because I almost just want to trick again. Because um, right now I'm holding a Focus Sash, and giving them a Focus Sash doesn't really matter. They bring their Reggie Lucky back in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna trick. Because even if it's a Salt Vest Coco, I'm kind of okay with my Sableye going down here. Uh, and then what do I have in the back? It's my Reggie Lucky and Ninetales. Um, I could just Protect. What does Protect accomplish for my Coco right now? Plus two speed. I guess it stalls out a turn of tail, which isn't that major. But yeah, let, let's let's trick the focus sash onto the Coco, because I don't think they're going to have any way of getting back to full health. And I will protect my Coco. I feel like one of these is... I know, still no Dynamax. I don't know what their last Pokemon is. It's just Electro Web, right? But I figure even if it's a Salt Vest, then we just... It just goes away with... Oh, it's a life orb. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm okay taking Coco's life orb away from it. That, that works for me. So. I think I'm going to bring in my... Nine Tails here. Because I have a Focus Sash. But they could just go Electro Web and Dazzling Gleam, and it's going to be very annoying. But, okay, we're going to try this. Let's go Blizzard, and I'm going to Iron Head their Coco. Or Riki, in this case. <laughs> it's hard to say. Well, I have my Sash, but they're going to Dazzling Gleam. It's going to be annoying. Unless I flinch, I outsped their Coco. Wow! Wow! That was big. Okay, very lucky. And then Reggie Lucky faints to hail, and Coco's going to faint to hail in the burn. <laughs> All right, well, I, I appreciate that. Um, I feel like I was due for a little bit of luck. 
<laughs> I didn't realize my Coco was going to outspeed theirs. I mean, yeah, I guess I must be max speed, and there mu they must not be max speed. And because I have... Um... Oh, right, the Zapdos. We, we knew what their last Pokemon was. Um, because I had plus two speed boost. And they, they have Tailwind, but that is even. Okay, and this is their last turn. Um, okay. I mean, I assume they're just going to kill Ninetales, but I can, I can just... They haven't Dynamaxed yet. But their Tailwind's going to be done, and I'm going to get to bring in Regieleki next turn. So it's not looking great for them. Because they can only kill one of my Pokemon. Unless they have, like, Max Rockfall. Like, they could Max Rockfall Coco, and then that would also kill Ninetales. From Chip. But I'll get, I'll get one of these attacks on it for sure. It's probably Weakness Policy. I'm probably giving it a Weakness Policy boost, but... Th this last turn is going to come down to speed. It's, it's going to come down to my Regieleki being able to outspeed their... Their Zapdos. Hmm. That's a lot. Take recoil. They're not weakness policy. Max Knuckle into probably the Ninetales. Yeah. Okay. I think that should be game because between Reggie Lucky and Coco. I mean, Coco, yeah. Coco just did 50% on its own and their tailwind is done now, so. Okay. I think we got there. <laughs> that was that was definitely hard. Um, I think the trick shenanigans that I had going on were useful. The fact that I outsped the Regieleki with my Coco on that one turn was surprising to me. All right, well, good game. This maybe is finally the start of trying to go back in the other direction. And I did get really lucky with um with that iron head flinch. <laughs> that was that was a, a big big swing in my favor. Game ten, I believe, yeah. Mm hmm. Yay! My favorite! Hard trick room with copycat that I can't do anything to stop. Uh Well, I guess it's Articuno Sableye, huh? That's like my best chance of stopping that, but god, I hate it. I hate it so much. And then Coco and Regieleki. Ah, oh, this is this is not a good matchup. This is this is a bad matchup between Stack Attacka Indeedy and Riolu, all there to set up Trick Room for their Glastrier. Watch, they're they're gonna lead Spectrier. They're just gonna bring Spectrier out, bleh, Spectrier out first. Um, won't surprise me. Won't surprise me to see the Spectrier lead, but I'm basically forced to go Articuno Sableye to try. Wait, no, I can't fake out. Wait, no, I don't need to fake out. Um. If they have Indeedy, then they can't copycat. Depending on what they're doing here. Ugh. It's just, ugh, I hate Trick Room so much. <laughs> okay. Stack Attack Riolu. Okay, so this is going to be Max Guard and Trick Room, right? Right? That's what's happening here? Uh, I'm pretty sure I just fake out Riolu and... Do I even Dynamax Articuno? Freezing Glare is probably just enough. Yeah, I'm just going to fake out Freezing Glare. But here's the problem. If Stack Attacka doesn't Dynamax and just clicks Trick Room... Because Riolu could also click Trick Room, couldn't it? Or not Trick Room, Fake Out. No, Riolu doesn't get Fake Out. Riolu doesn't get Fake Out. Oh, shoot. They're just going to set it manually. But I can reverse it. But, I mean, that's going to be hard to do. Okay, 
Riolu's down, but they're just going to set Trick Room. Ugh, reversing. No! They Rock Slide. So I have a Weakness Policy boost now. Hmm. Definitely interesting. Oh, right, Eject Button. Um, okay, what do I want to bring in here? Um... Probably just Tapu Koko. Like, I'd sort of want to have Regieleki, but now that Articuno has the weakness policy boost, I kind of don't want to switch it out. But what is Articuno really going to do here? Because I'm probably going to want to max Coco. Or I bring Regieleki. But see, what can they bring in? They could bring in Rillaboom and have Fake Out. I'm going to bring Coco. Um... I mean, they, they definitely can still set Trick Room. Like, that's still an option for them with this stack attacker. I'm really surprised that they just went for Rock Slide there. I mean, I guess it was just as likely that I was going to fake out the stack attacker. Although, I don't know. I don't know. Hard to say. Um. Right, and they get to see that I just brought out Coco, so that also is not in my favor. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, they bring Glastrier in right away. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I don't like that. Um, I hate that I don't have... Because the thing is, I can't really imprison because Glastrier will just kill me. But I also can't just kill the stack attack. <sighs> I'm mad. <laughs> I always end up in, in this position where it's like, ah, there's really not much I can do either way. Um, I think I just have to double the stack attack anyway. Oops, that's not the right move. I'm gonna max lightning. I think that's my strongest attack against it. Because they, they're probably... They're either going to Dynamax Glastier this turn and attack into Articuno so that I don't imprison. Or they're going to just protect Glastrier and set Trick Room. I don't know. It's annoying. They're Dynamaxing, right? Yep. I mean, maybe they Dynamax Stack Attack, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that you Dynamax Glastrier... Because even if you don't get Trick Room up, it's like you have Dynamax Glastrier. Plus, you get a Chilling Nay boost if you knock out Articuno here. I just have to hope that Max Lightning and plus two Freezing Glare could maybe be enough. That's not enough. <laughs> it's nowhere near enough. Maybe I'll get a Freeze. <laughs> That's pretty much what I need right now. That did way more than I expected. Um, but yeah, they're they're definitely still gonna just kill me. Um, they didn't kill Articuno though. But this is Trick Room, right? No. Still no Trick Room. I'm shocked. I am. Surprised. Um, well, okay. That means there's still a chance. They're just not setting Trick Room. Um, okay, let's try to burn Glastrier. And I really hope that Max Lightning... I don't think it is, though, because they just raised their defense, didn't they? Maybe I don't go for a burn. Maybe I go for night... Uh, I can fake out. I can fake out. We fake out stack attacka. And I'll just lightning... Or do I protect? Maybe I fake out max guard. How many turns is electric trainer left? Three. I'm gonna max guard. Please don't kill my Sableye. Please max quake my Coco again. God, it takes no damage. 
Okay, good. Max Quake into Coco. Okay. That just buys me one more turn. And they were definitely trying to set Trick Room that time. Um... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't think Max Lightning is enough to kill Stack Attack as the problem. I think I have to double into it. Just, just please. Just please. Okay, never mind. I, I could have gone for a burn, but I think that was the safer play. Because it was already plus one defense, and Stack Attack has ridiculous defense. Um, and Glastrier's Dynamax is done now, so I guess not having Max Quake or not having it burned is not the worst thing ever. But I guess they kill Coco, so I, I could still burn it. <sighs> the last Pokemon's gonna be really big, isn't it? I mean, if we lose here, it's fine because I knew this was a bad matchup going into it. I just don't want to see Rillaboom come in because. Is disgusting. <sighs> I mean, it's going to be hard here either way. Regilecki is just kind of too frail to. <sighs> yep, there's the real move. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the Pokemon I don't want to see. Um, yeah, that's probably game. Um,. Because they're just going to fake out Regieleki. And Regieleki is not living an attack from Glastrier. Is there any play that I have here? Not really. Because the other thing is, I think I have to attack the Rillaboom. On the off chance that they don't fake out and that I somehow live. Okay. Yeah, that's not enough damage anyway. Okay. That could have missed, but it, it didn't. <laughs> oh well, that, that was always going to be a, a very difficult game to win, so that's all right. They, they played it well. Keeping Rillaboom in the back was definitely the right play. Alright, game 11. I need to get back above 1500. Neat. Neat. Oh, I, I love everything here. <laughs> um, okay. Articuno Sableye. And probably, probably just Reggie Lucky Coco. Um, actually, do I need Coco? Well, they don't have terrain, so I don't really need Coco. I could just bring Reggie Lucky and Nine Tails. Is Nine Tails? I mean, Nine Tails is good against Landorus and Whimsicott. And the Moltres. Coco is good against... It gives me Iron Head against Comfe, which would be nice. Urgh. What if I go Ninetales Archway? No, I need Regieleki to hit Rotom. I need to be able to hit their Rotom for neutral. So, is it Ninetales then? Or do I just bring Coco? I think I just bring Coco. Because, I mean, I don't know. The Landorus is going to be hard to deal with. I need to I need to use my Articuno to stop the Landorus. This is basically banking on them leading Landorus, which is not going to happen. They're not going to lead Landorus. But maybe I can force them to switch Landorus in. What was it called? Neil Lego. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that happen before. Um, I think last time I played against this on the ladder, it ended up being really important that I needed to have killed Nihilego first turn. Um, so I think we'll fake out Whimsicott. They'll probably get Tailwind on the subsequent turn. 
But at least for this turn, I can just outspeed and kill the Neolego. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have Dynamax. I wonder if Freezing Glare kills Neolego. I don't know if it does. Um, I don't know. Well, I did this anyway. Setting up Psychic Train is not great when I have Sableye on the field. But we can try. We'll give it a try. But yeah, I just remember going up against this on the ladder a couple days ago, and I feel like the Nihilago got out of control. Yep, no Tailwind for you. Ooh. I outsped Nihilago last time that I played against this team, or a team like this. Um, I think Articuno can take a Meteor Beam. I hope. Okay, I do take it once I'm Dynamaxed. So then I go plus two. It's just I'm in a lot of danger. <laughs> we kill Nihilego so that that doesn't snowball. But then they're going to set Tailwind this next turn, and they're going to have something else. Another threat. Um, okay, what did they bring in here? Hmm. <laughs> difficult. Very difficult. And Sableye is basically dead on the field, as long as I've got Psychic Terrain. They bring in the Rotom. Um... So it's probably just Tailwind and Electric move into Articuno, right? So I think I'm just going to protect Articuno. Uh, would I want Articuno to go down, though? Is there a world where I want Articuno to go down? If I switch out Sableye here for Coco, or even Regieleki. Uh, it feels risky to switch into Regieleki. Although not that risky. It's just a Rotom. You know what? I'm not going to protect. I'm going to try to Airstream, and we're going to switch for Regieleki. This is risky. This is 100% a very risky play. Oh, wait. No. Oh, I've made a mistake. My thought was that I would bring Sableye back in when Articuno goes down. They didn't set Tailwind. The problem is I can't just bring Sableye and go for Fake Out because I don't have a <laughs> it's still in Psychic Train. <laughs> oh, there's the nasty plot, and now they're going to Tailwind. Ah, I should have switched to Coco to overwrite the train, and then I could have gone for Fake Out. Yeah, I played that wrong. That was the whole point of switching out Sableye, was I needed to overwrite the terrain. Ugh. Wrong switch. Wrong switch. Okay. Um. I mean, it's just plus two Rotom. How bad can it be? How bad can it be? Pretty bad. Answer. <laughs> it could be very bad. <laughs> um, I'm just going to Iron Head Wins a Cot, and. I can't really lock into Rising Voltage against Rotom because it has Levitate, so Rising Voltage doesn't double in power. The target. Because the target has to be on Electric Train for it to double, so. Thunderbolt is my stronger option here. Hmm. They switch. Oh, please don't be Landorus. Aww. <laughs> right, that was what I needed my Articuno for. Well, here comes Tailwind. Dang, Regieleki is kind of useless here. They never set Tailwind. They just move blast again. Ouch. Annoying. Um, okay, well, we have a Landorus now on the field. Um, yeah, not much that I can do about that. So, that's probably game. Yeah, maybe Coco Regilecki was not the right play here. It was probably Arctivish. Probably Arctivish was going to be better here. Because let's see, what could I have done? Well, no, because they would have just set Tailwind turn one still. Maybe it was... No, because Neolego still would have gone for Meteor Beam on Arctivish. Unless I protected it turn one. I don't know. 
I don't know what the right answer was here. I am not off to a great start in this player's cup. <laughs> they never set Tailwind. So, I mean, I, I still have a speed advantage, kind of. A little bit, not really. That's just nothing. I, I cannot do anything to this Landorus. I hope they kill the Regieleki here. Nope. They know what they're doing. Well, that's basically game, because I can't really touch this Landorus now. Um... I mean, okay, what what do I do here? I, I Thunderbolt the Rotom from Regilecki, and I guess I burn the Landorus. And then they're going to kill my Sableye, though, aren't they? Because they know that Regilecki cannot touch Landorus. So at this point, Sableye is the biggest threat for them. We miss Will-O-Wisp. That's annoying. That does Oko Rotom, which is always nice. Please attack the Regieleki. Okay, go for Regieleki. Um, if I had just gotten the burn there, that would have been so nice. Because I need residual damage, and then I need to kill it with nightshades basically is <laughs> all I can do right now <laughs> um, burn it so it does less damage to me I mean there's basically no world where Sableye beats Landorus in a 1v1 especially in this situation where Landorus has a turn of Dynamax against it but really? two Will-O-Wisp misses Okay, well, they, they kill me with a single air stream anyway, so. <sighs> Alright, good game. Good game. Pro probably shouldn't have gone double electric into a Landorus game. Okay, game 12. Time to start thinking. <laughs> um... They have Fake Out, but I kind of like Arctivish Ninetales here. Like, Arctivish is good against... Marowak and Cinderace. Ninetales is good against Urshifu and Grimmsnarl. And then I just bring... Regilicky can't touch the Marowak. But... It's good against Feeny and Celesteela. And then I guess I just bring Coco. I think this is a decent game to try leading Arctivish Ninetales. Um, and I, I almost think what I'll have to do to dodge a fake out. I don't know which one they're going to fake out. Though. Like, it's going to be Grimmsnarl in the lead, right? That's pretty much guaranteed. I feel like I have to Dynamax Arctivish here. Which, I mean, because then it, I, I lose Ficious Rend. But. Ooh, they lead with the Celesteela. Yeah, don't like that. Do not like that. Um. I, I hate that they have fake out pressure here. I just, I just hate it. Maybe I don't Dynamax Arctivish. Maybe I just... I mean, what else would I be Dynamaxing? Coco? Coco isn't an awful Dynamax in this game. I think I'm going to go for it. Let's Hailstorm and Dazzling. I think chances are they fake out Ninetales. 
but I think faking out Arctivish is probably also on their mind because I am. We're in Hail, I've got an Arctivish, I've got Ficious Rend. That's a very dangerous combination to just let it happen. Maybe I should have gone for an Aurora Veil instead of Dazzling Gleam this turn. Aurora Veil might have been more worth it. Ugh, they're just gonna Dynamax their Celesteela. Hmm, okay, well. I guess the other thing I could have done is just switched out Ninetales for Regieleki here, but that's not a super safe switch. Very hard to say. Dang it. Alright, well, we get to Hailstorm. Oh, they're gonna rock fall, aren't they? Just reset the weather. Yep. I love it. Okay, well, they kill nine tails. Um, I'm decently happy to just bring in Regieleki here, though. And I can Hailstorm again this turn. Because Regieleki should be able to stop this, right? If anyone can do it, it's Regieleki. They're probably going to set up Light Screen. However... I think I just double into it again, right? But they're gonna out. The thing is, the Celestia, the Celestia is gonna outspeed my Arctivish because we're in sand now. So Arctivish doesn't have its speed doubled. I think they just light screen and rock fall again, probably. Or they max. God, if they max guard Celestia here. God dang it! No! That's so annoying. That's so annoying. I should have just hailstormed the Grimmsnarl. Ugh! As always, it occurs to me too late what the optimal play is. Like, I keep talking through it after I make my decision, and then I realize, oh right, they could do something else. And then that's what they do. <laughs> All right, Hailstorm Grimmsnarl, Thunderbolt, Celesteela. I don't think it's gonna work because now I'm minus one special attack, and they're... this is probably where they set Light Screen. They switch out, Marowak. Right. Even worse. <laughs> God, I hate everything. I hate everything so much. And they're gonna rock fall, and then my Dynamax is done, and I am and I have no hail for the rest of the game, so. Good. Very good. Gosh, I am just getting outplayed by everybody. Not that hail matters, because Arctivish is dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Okay, um... Yeah, that's... That's game. <laughs> oh, the double max guard... Or not double max guard, just the max guard when I doubled into it. It's so bad. It's so bad. Ugh. I forgot about the Marowak, too. I forgot that they had that as an option. Like, that was why I wanted Arctivish. Okay, 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 okay. We're, we're learning. Slowly. Very slowly. Because one big problem is that now we're stuck. Like, I have to hit the Marowak. It probably just protects this turn, because it can. Celesteela protects. That's interesting. That's interesting, because maybe Brave Bird... Like, yeah, I have to just keep boosting its special attack. Although, not that Marowak is usually a special attacker. We'll see how much this Brave Bird does. 
Not enough. So that's fun. It's probably... Yeah, Magic Lucky goes down. Oof. Just, just bad all around. Very bad. I personally think Marowak is going to protect this turn. Not that, not that this really does anything besides waste time. No, they don't protect. I'm just going to double it to me, because that makes sense. Because I can't hit the Celesteela, because Lightning Rod. Sandstorm Crit! <laughs> Believe it or not, that's not how that works. Um, it should go down to Iron Head, but... I mean, I'm, I'm going to die to Flash Cannon for Celesteela. Like, that's what kills me. Okay, we got the Marowak. Yay. Yep. Okay. Good game. They, once again, played it very well. Very smart. Good switch. Good max guard. Just got outplayed. Okay, I have three games left today. That's not even enough to get back up to 1500. But we're gonna try. We're going to try. Okay. They have a Porygon 2, but the slowest thing that they have is Metagross. So, I'm not too worried about them setting up Trick Room. They have an Incineroar. Last time I underestimated Incineroar, that was that was just game right away. So, Articuno. What would be a problem for Articuno to deal with? The Zapdos. I think I go Articuno Ninetales here. Um, not perfect, but Ninetales is pretty good against a lot of these Pokemon. And then I think I just want Regieleki and Sableye. I need something like I need to stop the Garchomp for sure, but Regieleki and Electric Terrain can deal with the rest of the Pokemon. I'm, I'm gonna try it. Um, yeah. And again, I don't think they're gonna set up Trick Room. I guess technically I have an answer to them if they want to try to set up Trick Room, because I, I did bring Articuno this time. I dare you to lead Incineroar. Oh, they did lead Incineroar. So, I get to be plus two Articuno right away, which is pretty neat. Let's see. Not too worried about the Feeny, because I have two electric types in the back. So, if I can just get rid of this Incineroar... Um... I kind of feel like they're going to fake out they're just going to fake out Ninetales, aren't they? Um, I suppose switching out Incineroar for Metagross would be annoying here. That would definitely be annoying. Uh, I think I want a Dynamax Articuno, though. Just for bulk and for being able to raise speed. I think I switch out Ninetales for Coco. I'd rather bring in Regieleki, but I'd also rather have Electric Terrain up before I bring Regieleki in. Figuring that they probably fake out that slot. Hmm. Wait. Did they trigger competitive? I wasn't paying attention. This was a this was an intimidate Incineroar, right? It's not Blaze Incineroar for some random reason. I mean, I guess you could go Blaze Incineroar because you get Fake Out, but you have access to like Fake Out and Parting Shop, and then you don't accidentally trigger competitive. I don't know. I feel like one of the biggest advantage. I think I think I'm plus two, right? Oh God, they're Dynamaxing. I didn't expect a Dynamax from either of these Pokemon. It's probably the Feeny, right? Ugh. 
Okay, well that's not fun. I kind of think that they're just gonna max hailstorm my Articuno, aren't they? Okay, man, that's the fake out that I was expecting. Well, I really hope I'm plus two. Uh... Okay, we, we kill the Incineroar, so that's gone. But yeah, the Max Feeny I was not expecting. Um, it's probably just Max Hailstorm into Articuno, right? Oh, Geyser. That's fine. I don't really need that weather. They kill Coco. <laughs> um, but I have a like. I got Electric Terrain up. I mean, I guess it powers up their rain moves, but I can just bring in Regieleki now. What are the chances that they... I guess if they bring in Garchomp, I'm just going to hit it with my Articuno, right? I could always just go for... A, ooh, Porygon 2, the tried and true. That's a fancy name. It's a very fancy name. They better not set Trick Room. Just, just going to say. Are they going to ally switch? It's either ally switch or trick room. I might double into Porygon 2. And I think I'm going to Volt switch. Well, no, I, I want to go for full damage because if they're going for trick room, I need it dead. Okay. Oh god, imagine al well if it's Ally Switch Max Guard, that's nothing. I'm pretty sure this was Max Guard Trick Room. Did I just go for a Max Mindstorm? I guess it doesn't matter because it's gonna go into a protect, but I I just why did I go for Max Mindstorm when I have my electric train up? That was a bad play. Um, okay, it's it's fine though. It worked out in my favor because we just killed it. Okay, here's Garchomp. Um Yeah, this is fine. Because now I just rising voltage Feeny. And uh, Ninetales is in the back, and Ninetales can kill Garchomp. So I, I think I got this one, finally. Yep, Feeny goes down. Let's see how much plus two Airstream does to Garchomp. I wonder if they thought that I had Arc Division in the back. That might have been why they were so determined to set up Rain. Wow. Plus two just, just kills it. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. I didn't... I thought maybe it had a chance to live. Okay. That was... That was a game. That was a win. Good game. They, they still played well. Game 14. They're fairly highly rated. Suicune and Volcarona. That's fancy. Um, let's see. You can't really do anything about Regieleki Coco, can ya? Except for Fake Out. They can definitely go Fake Out with Grimmsnarl, which would be annoying. But, I'm willing to take that risk, I suppose. Because you can't just reset the terrain. You don't have Lightning Rod. You also don't have weather, so I kind of like Ninetales Arctivish as well. Like, I can basically just go with both of my cores here, because... I mean, I guess they, they can, like, Dynamax to reset terrain. But, um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty okay with just going hard with Regieleki. Here's the thing. If they lead Grimmsnarl, I could Dynamax Regieleki. It's not good to Dynamax Regieleki, but I could do it to just get around Fake Out. And they might not be expecting it, and I honestly think they'd have some trouble coming back from that. Let's see. Is it Grimmsnarl in the lead? Metagross Suicune. Okay, sweet. This is excellent for me. Because um, they don't have Fake Out. I can just instantly Rising Voltage the Metagross, and I can Dynamax Coco, and just Max Lightning Suicune. Like, this is this is excellent for me. Um, 
there's probably something that they can do that I'm not thinking of. <laughs> there's almost certainly something they can do that I'm not thinking of. But considering that they don't have any ground types. Uh, yeah. This is... This is why I led like this, because yes, Grimmsnarl would have been a problem, but I could have probably played around it and come back. And since I didn't lead Grimmsnarl, now I have... I personally think I have a huge advantage here. Um, like, they'll probably Dynamax Metagross, but Rising Volt is just going to do so much damage to it. Um, if it doesn't just flat out KO it. This is Max Metagross, right? Yeah. I think Suicune might get Bulldoze. Which is definitely interesting. Um, because then they could trigger their Metagross's weakness policy. And they could do super effective damage to both my Pokemon. But Coco's going to outspeed Suicune. So, like, that's the other big thing here. Is that I'm outspeeding both of them. Unless they're EV'd very specifically. I mean, yeah, that just dies to Rising Voltage. <laughs> Um, yep. And then, let's see how much uh, Max Lightning does to Suicune. I guess it could have been Sash. Nope, it's just dead. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I honestly don't really know how you come back from that. Um, like, they did nothing to my team that first turn, and... I mean, yeah, setting up Trick Room, I guess... Because now, I mean, yeah, you can fake, I guess. You can fake out. You can fake out the Regieleki here. And you can set up Trick Room with Porygon. Um, I'm going to just try to kill the Grimmsnarl. But see, here's the thing. Even in Trick Room, when they don't have Dynamax with these last two Pokemon, there's just not much you can do about it. And they don't fake out. So I think even through Light Screen, P2 might still go down to Rising Voltage find out. No, it does live. Okay. So I probably should have doubled into Porygon, but I mean, yeah, again, if even if they set up Trick Room here, it's just it's not gonna help. I guess they'll get to recover on Porygon, which is very annoying. But when I have four Pokemon... Yeah. I think doubling Porygon was probably safer there. But this is this is fine. I figured I wasn't gonna be getting to attack Porygon with my uh, with my Regieleki. Spirit Break. Yep. Not very much damage. And they do recover, but because they weren't able to kill Regieleki, it's just gonna die to the next Rising Voltage. So. That should basically be game, huh? Yeah, that is nice. Thank you for those crits when I when I definitely need them. <laughs> okay. As long as I can end day one on on a couple of wins, that that would be nice. It's at least a better start. Oh wow. I did not expect it to live again. Oh, right, they dropped my special attack. That's what happened. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, they, they, they do live that. But you can't really stop both of my Pokemon here. Try to attack into Regieleki, which probably does take it down. Yep. They did their they did their best shot, but yeah, unfortunately, Suicune Metagross into Coco Regieleki just wasn't gonna work. I mean, okay, if they had led P2 Grimmsnarl, that could have been really difficult, actually. Even if I had Dynamax to get around fake out. Alright, game 15, final game of day one. Um I think I can deal with this. They don't have a way of setting Trick Room. The Sableye is alarming. They have Spectre and Glastrier. 
Huh. How can I deal with this? I'm expect things I'm expecting in the lead are Sableye, Rillaboom, and Spectrier. So they're probably gonna have a fake out lead, which means that I probably am gonna want to Dynamax something turn one. I'm probably gonna want to be able to switch in Coco. What I sort of want to do here is lead Arctivish Ninetales. Dynamax Arctivish, switch Ninetales for Coco to overwrite potential grassy terrain. Does that work? Because then Arctivish and Hail outspeeds Spectrier. But if I'm planning on Dynamaxing Arctivish to get around Fake Out, that's a problem. And I probably just bring Reggie Lucky, right? I think I think this is good. I think leading Arctivish Ninetales here is the right play. Like it's my it's my clearest way to to be able to outspeed Spectrier and potentially Dynamax and get off some consistent damage. I don't know. Sableye Spectrier. Okay. Now is this gonna be it could be fake out, it could be quash. It could honestly be any number of things that they have right here. Um I feel like fake out is more likely on the first turn. I also feel like that happens into nine tails. But well maybe I don't Dynamax here actually. Maybe I just Ficious Ren the Spectrier to punish if they go for Ninetales. And Dazzling Gleam if they fake out Arctivish. Well, no, because if they fake out Arctivish, then Spectrier just gets to attack. Which is annoying. But I'm... This is risky and not what I'd planned. They just go for a burn, though. Which is annoying, don't get me wrong. That's very annoying. But no fake out. I'm glad I didn't Dynamax. That's really good damage on Spectrier. And they just snarl. Which is also annoying. So, th like, they are lowering my stats. Yes. But, because I didn't commit a Dynamax, I'm pretty okay with that happening. Eject button on Sableye? No. Spectrier's very low now. It actually just faints to another turn of hail. And the main concern that I had about Spectrier was it just sweeping through my team. So now I'm okay to protect Arctivish. Again, annoying that it's burned. Very annoying. Ooh, I could just Ice Shard the Spectrier, though. I'm just going to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to Ficious Friend, Sableye, and Ice Shard Spectrier. Because the, the best thing that I can see Sableye doing here is going for a Quash. And yeah, why, why bother waiting for Hail to kill Spectrier when I can just hit it with Ice Shard? Okay, what are they going to do? They, they might be switching. No, no switches. Okay. So Spectrier's down. That's nice. They probably weren't expecting Ice Shard. I bet this was Quash, right? Yep, it was probably Quash and then an attack into Arctivish. But that eh, doesn't work for them. Obviously, it doesn't kill the Sableye. That's actually okay, though, because that way they don't get a double free switch in. Although, I guess now they still get to Quash again. Yeah, it doesn't kill because I'm burned and they move before me. But it was it was still better than Ice School Crash or something. Okay, here's the Glastrier. I don't like it. Um... Coco and Regilecki are decent here. I need to kill this Sableye. I was going to just protect and Dazzling Gleam. But if I protect Arctivish and they kill the Ninetales, that's a problem. And what is Arctivish really doing here? Like, Arctivish, I mostly wanted to outspeed Spectrier. And I did like the option of being able to Icicle Crash Rillaboom. But I think doubling into Sableye here is the right play. 
to make sure that it goes down and they don't have Quash. I'll also get to Dynamax a turn later than them, which is good, I suppose. I guess, well, one problem here is that Glass is going to get an attack boost from killing something. But if I get rid of Quash, then they can't. Yeah. So I probably could have just... Oh, what? Right, yeah, duh. Obviously, Ninetales. Oh, right, one of them was... I could have just protected Archivish here. That was probably a better play. Although, again, if they had Quashed and gone for an attack on Ninetales... That would have been annoying. Okay, so I still have Nine Tails here. What do they bring in? Rillaboom? Rillaboom or Urshifu? It's one of those, right? I think I bring Coco in first. And we bring Regieleki in to finish. If it's Rillaboom, I can Dynamax Coco and Max Lightning to overwrite the terrain. It is Rillaboom, okay. So, hmm, or do I just want to get rid of Rillaboom? Well, no, I need to, I need to kill the, I, I need to overwrite terrain so that they don't have priority. Huh. It's tricky. It is tricky. I wish Ninetales still had the Sash. That would be really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna... Do I want to max lightning this turn? Because I kind of just want to airstream. Glastier is plus one, though, right? They're plus two. Yeah, okay, so... I think I need to max lightning while I can. Probably just into Glastier, because it just doesn't do very much to Rillaboom. And I can click Blizzard. Um, not ideal, but at least this way I have terrain. Like, I'm guaranteed to get terrain. Uh, I guess unless they max guard. <laughs> Although, if they max guard real, um, last year, this, they're, they're not going to max guard. That, that doesn't make sense. Uh, a plus two max quake into Coco is really going to hurt. Although, I am plus one defense because of my electric seed. Grassy Glide, nine tails. Which does just kill me, which is unfortunate. Alright. I need this Quake not to kill. I need to live this Max Quake right now. Maybe I should have just Max... No, I don't want to Max... Well, I guess I could have Max Guarded. Maybe Max Guard would have been the better play. We do barely hang on. Which is really big. Oh, wait. Am I going to die to hail? Oh, I hope I don't die to hail. Okay. <laughs> we barely live. <laughs> Yikes. Um, okay. There's a chance. Um, options. Options. Uh, I think... Oh, right. Their Dynamax isn't done. Which is bad. Part of me wants to double into Rillaboom, but if they are running Protect Rillaboom, then that's awful. Because I don't think. Here's the problem. Here's the big problem. Coco faints to Hail, so they're just gonna attack Regieleki, right? So I actually, I actually do have to attack both of them. I have to Rising Voltage the Glastrier and Airstream the Rillaboom. That's not enough. Shoot. That's also not enough. <laughs> Dang it. Just barely not enough damage on either. Dang. That's bad. Well, I, I don't think you needed the crit to kill me there, but uh, it's, it's annoying. All right, well, so ends my first day of games for the Players Cup 3 qualifiers. Um, not not my best showing. <laughs> but it's all right. Um, we're not terribly far behind. Like, if we can just start with a few wins tomorrow, we can...
can start having a mini comeback, I suppose. Looking at the current results, yeah, our rating is 1464, we're 7788, which is, you know, not, not good. But, there's still 30 battles left over the next two days. Um, obviously, you don't want to start this far behind, but there's, there's still a way we can come back from it. Um, I had such a good start. Was the pro I mean, I lost my first game, and then I won three, and then lost two. That three-game win streak was really nice early on. But after that, I feel like I just went up against lots more Trick Room teams. Um, so part of it was bad matchups. Part of it was playing <laughs> subpar. <laughs> Which happens. I, I have good days, and I've got bad days. So... I don't know. Uh, it was a start. It was a start. We we definitely could have done better by uh, clearly not playing at all. But you, you got to play if you want to get ahead. So it's a start. That was the warm up day. We'll we'll come back for it tomorrow on day two, and hopefully we can turn things around. So until then, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.